I'm Adam Schindler, your neighborhood reporter for Fort Cavazos. The Secretary of the Army makes her way to the post and has a lot to say about her two-day visit. My very first trip as Secretary of the Army was to then Fort Hood. I came out, I think, in June of 2021. Secretary Warma spent two full days at Fort Cavazos reviewing three corps, starting with mission readiness, since 40% of the entire corps will soon be deployed. Third Armored Corps is busy, 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 um, and doing a lot of hard work to develop our readiness and to develop our lethality. Uh, I had the opportunity to go see a Paladin live fire. Uh, I got to actually fire a tank myself, not something I uh, get to do every day. All demonstrations of three quarters transition from counterinsurgency fighting like that in Iraq and Afghanistan to large scale near peer combat for threats like Russia. Beyond combat capabilities, she also says the post is coming a long way in efforts to take care of soldiers and families. Madam Secretary, good morning. Welcome to First Team. The First Cavalry Division actually has a program called the Pegasus Integration Program that's an eight day program to receive new soldiers coming into First Cav and get them all set before they ever go to the unit. And I think that really rigorous reception approach is going to um, set us up for success. The People First Center was only an idea during her last trip. Now it's making big strides in training junior leaders. How to help, frankly, our soldiers, you know, build up their life skills and build up their resilience and be able to talk with soldiers about uncomfortable things that I think can help us get ahead of things like suicide. While plenty of good work is happening at Fort Cavazos, there are still challenges, among them low recruitment. Because we don't have our manning levels where we'd like them to be, our soldiers feel like they're, you know, doing the work of one and a half or even two soldiers. Motor pools also need to be upgraded to better handle newer vehicles. Most of what Secretary Warma saw here is positive, but she tells me there are some things that need some work with recruitment at the top of the list and not just here, but across the country. At Fort Cavazos, I'm Adam Schindler.